10. Weight Lifting Injuries in Women The trunk is the area that most injuries suffer in the body of women who perform weight lifting, followed by the feet and arms, indicates an investigation. But they are not the only damages that they can suffer. According to the study of the Sports Medicine Biodynamics Center and Human Performance Laboratory, the female participants presented lesions in 27.4% in the trunk, 26.5% in the feet, 17.2% in the arms and 16.3% in the hands. The injuries caused by lifting weights usually derive from poor performance or excessive exercise. Meet some of the most frequent. 1. Shoulder injuries. The rotator cuff is one of the first muscles that usually swell, tear or pinch, which prevents movement of the entire area, reveals Antonio Barbosa, a specialist in sports medicine. 2. Destruction of muscle tissue. The load in excess can destroy muscle tissue, especially if you're not used to hard exercise, says Alfredo Polanco, nephrologist of the Dominican Society of Nephrology. 3. Failure of the kidneys. When the skeletal muscle suffers some damage, caused by a bad lifting of weights, it releases myoglobin in the blood that must be eliminated by the kidneys, but in large quantities, this substance can affect its proper functioning. 4. Injuries to the legs and feet. Many women do not consider that the way in which they must lift the weights has to be more soft because they have hips wider than men. For this reason, the weight tends to fall more on their legs and feet, which causes them to tear and other injuries. 5. Overload on the back. Suffering spondylolysis, a type of overload fracture in the back, is one of the harms that weightlifting can cause, especially in middle-aged people and women. 6. Damage to the spine. Weights can put a lot of stress on your spine, especially if you're not that young anymore because discs in this area tend to dry out and become thinner with age, says the National Institutes of Health NIH. 7. Twists. The rigidity of the muscles when they are cold causes sprains, therefore it is essential to perform a previous warm-up that increases blood circulation and improves the range of motion, says Maury Kolber, professor of physical therapy at Nova Southeastern University. 8. Buttock injuries. Many women have an imbalance of strength, which is sometimes a result of lifestyle. For example, spending a lot of time sitting tensely weakens the hip flexors, while the gluteals become inactive, so when lifting weights these are muscles that tend to suffer. 9. Tendinitis. Women tend to think that more is better, more repetitions, more weight, more games. But when anyone increases at high speed, the body is more at risk of ruptured ligaments and tendinitis, says Joan Pagano, author of Strength Training for Women, 10. Sprains and Strains. The first involves stretched ligaments or tears in the back, while strains affect torn muscles or tendons. In both cases, pain, swelling and difficulty moving are common symptoms. Performing weight lifting properly involves executing a warm-up for 15 minutes, as well as having the correct posture, which implies a straight position of the back, balancing the weight between both legs or arms and contracting the abdominals. To know more weight loss tips, download my book free by clicking the book image on the right or the link in the description below and please subscribe to this channel and share this video.